Hey guys, welcome to my first ever vlog that I've ever made uh, from a hotel room in Houston, Texas. I've been floating the idea of doing a vlog type video on the road, figuring out what I could even do. Um, I do live a fairly unique life uh, with the streaming and the baseball and things. Um, but uh, I thought the first cool subject kind of would set everything else in motion uh, and a good, uh, good opportunity to start with um, what my travel setup is. I get the question a lot, like how do you balance streaming with baseball and vice versa? What do you bring with you? What kind of computer do you have? You know, everyone thinks I have this huge Pelican case with uh, two monitors and uh, things and all that kind of stuff, um, but I don't. Uh, so uh, it's actually a little bit more simple than that, but I thought that I would start by um, going through everything that I have in my carry-on case. I have a case um, that I bring on every trip full of all my gaming um, gear and things. Uh, and give you a little tour of everything that's in that case uh, and, and talk about specifically all the items I have uh, if you're looking at doing something similar or adding things to your group. Uh, of, of stuff that you like to travel with uh, for whatever you do, um, you can be in school or whatever, uh, maybe you can find some stuff in there that'll help you. So without further ado, let's take you over to the case and, uh, and see what's inside. All right, first off, I'm gonna use the zoom function here. We have an away case that was given to me, um, fortunately through my agency. Uh, you might have seen these on Instagram, they're super hard, heavy duty, uh, you know, they're the hard top cases. Uh, they come with, you know, lockable, uh, class on the side um, So, you know, it's great for a carry-on. Uh, they're small enough to fit into most overheads and things like that So you just pop them open um, And I'll show you what is inside. So now firstly First thing I've pulled out is the camera that we're using right now. It is a Sony a 6500 um, it's best for um, Videos like this because I'm moving a little bit. It's got video stabilization unfortunately, it does, does not have a flip around camera so I had to test the, the earlier part of this video a bunch, but uh, just to make sure I was in the frame, because there's no way to tell when it's, it's when you're by yourself and you're aiming the camera at yourself. So, that is the one drawback, but other than that, it's been a phenomenal camera. First off, we have the non-computer side, all right? You pop these open, and you go through uh, piece by piece here. These are some eight Sennheiser um, gaming headset. Uh, I believe they're the 550s. Um, you know, I did a promotion for these. They're great for traveling, really great uh, uh, cans or, 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 or ear, earphones, um, really, really comfortable. Um, fairly high quality mic, but you know, you're always gonna be better off having an external mic. So I recommend those for a travel setup. I use different ones, HD 650s at home as monitor headphones, but here I have this travel. Then you always need your trusty, you know, 60 foot ethernet cable cord. You never know which hotels are going to allow you to um, plug in, have a wall uh, hookup. And as we know, Wi-Fi is not the best for streaming even when you're in your own home. So I always have this just in case there was wall hookup. We were just in Baltimore, that came in handy, and I had a gig download speed in a hotel. So this saved my life and I was able to stream, which was awesome. Then I uh, <clears throat> obviously have the laptop charger here because you know I'm screwed without that. Here's our external mic. It is, one second, it is an AT2020. Uh, made by Audio Technica. As you can see, it looks exactly like my 2035 from home. I'll pull this out real quick. Condenser mic, always remember one side is the receiver, so if you're talking to the other side, you're not gonna be very loud. It just has a um, USB hookup here, as you can see. And it goes straight into the computer, and then there's the power cord with it. There's a stand, so I got this on Amazon. I do not know what this is called. It's kind of a, a universal screw-in for uh, most condenser mics. This goes with the AT2020 and 2035 well. That screws right into this plate here. So it just sits right, it's pretty heavy. So, um, you know, if you're gonna pack this and you're gonna put it into a, a check bag or something, put it in your check bag and not your, your carry-on because it can get really heavy. This, this weighs at least five pounds by itself. It's like made of solid steel, but it's really heavy duty. Um, that just screws in here like this and then hold your mic, which is pretty cool. And then this is the third one I bought in this season, but this is literally just an extended uh, Corsair mouse pad. Um, I've always used extended mouse pads 
uh, because I have fairly low DPI when I play games. So that's Corsair. I have a HyperX at home as well that I bought on the last road trip. I forgot it again, had to order one of these at Amazon Prime now. Amazon Prime now is amazing, especially when you're in a large city. Uh, so this is my, my mouse pad. And then here's my, uh, my case for my camera. Now, the camera's not in it, obviously, because I'm holding it, but we hold on, do this with one hand because I'm extremely talented. Now, for the what I also put in the camera case with the camera, to keep it safe because it's a little extra padding, is my power cord for my uh, keyboard. Uh, this is the external dongle for the mouse you're about to see, so I try to put as many cords in here as possible. Then I have my my mouse that I bring, this is the one I use at home as well. <laughs> it is the Wireless Pro Logitech G mouse. It's super light. It is wireless. Um, with the exception of the final mouse, it is the lightest mouse you can get. So I play a lot of FPSs, so I use the, the really light mouse. Um, but has it really helped my skill? Not really. And then, you know, other stuff we have in here. Just the, just the strap for the camera that I'm not using right now. And I probably should be. And then another power cord. I think this is for... Um, Something, there's another something, there's something else I need a power cord for and that is sure what I need it for, all right. And then on this side, we, we carry the computer. So I have these with the Away, it has these really nice um, uh, like securing straps. I think this is mostly for, for clothes, things like that. Uh, you can wrap the clothes around, keep them kind of folded. But um, instead I use it to keep my keyboard, which is the Logitech Pro keyboard as you can see here um, the power cord was kept in the box or in the uh, case with the camera um, I use this at home as well um, so basically I have this in the mouse as a set I really like Logitech pro products no ad um, and then this is my origin custom built laptop this is in its case you can see it, it, it in there right now um, that's wrapped down as well and below it we have cooling stand here extra fans guys keep it warm or keep it cool rather um, as you know, um, laptops can get a little bit heavy, or not heavy, hot, and, and need a little bit of extra help um, staying cool as you stream. One last thing before I miss it. Um, the nice thing about this cover is it's got a couple extra pockets um, in there. As you can see, I have an external webcam. It is a Logitech uh, 920, I believe. Um, and it is pretty much the standard for most people who uh, use cameras to stream. I now use this camera to do the stream or the one built into the laptop if I'm really lazy. Um, but that's just extra, just in case something goes wrong with the other ones. So that's my backup. This is what it looks like on my bed. Um, and then I go set everything up.